Hello friends, good morning. In the video lecture series on high voltage engineering, till now I have covered three units. Number one, breakdown phenomena in dielectrics. Number two, light over voltages in power system and insulation coordination. Number three, traveling waves. Next is lab techniques. Now in lab techniques, we basically we are testing we are doing the high voltage testing of electrical equipments. So for high voltage testing, we require generation of high voltage and high current. We require measurement of high voltage and high current. And finally, we do the testing with high voltage and high current. So this lab techniques has three units. Number one, generation of high voltage and high current. Number two, measurement of high voltage and high current. And number three, testing. This includes high voltage testing as well as non-destructive testing. So let us start with the first unit of the lab techniques that becomes the fourth unit of the syllabus that is generation of high voltage and high current. Now let us see what is the requirement or what is the purpose of generating high voltage and high current. During service condition, electrical equipments are subjected to over voltage and poor current conditions. Now these over voltages may be at power frequency, it may be lightning over voltage, it may be switching over voltage of impulse nature or it may be switching over voltage at high frequency. Similarly when short circuit occurs, the equipment has to bear that short, short circuit current for short duration. Similarly when lightning over voltage is there, heavy current flows that is heavy lightning current flows and the equipment as well as lightning arrester has to bear that high current for very short duration. Hence, before putting the equipments into service, they are tested with different over voltage conditions. Therefore, the high voltage and high currents are generated in the lab for testing purpose. This is the purpose. Now let us see what are the types of high voltages and currents generated in the lab. Number one, it is AC voltage at power frequency. Number two, it is DC voltage because nowadays at many places transmission is HVDC. Number three, lightning impulse voltage. Number four, switching impulse voltage. Number five, high AC voltage at high frequency. So these are the five different types of voltages to be generated for testing the electrical equipments. Then current, impulse current as well as pulse current of long duration. So these two types of currents are required to test the electrical equipments. So let us start with the first one that is generation of high AC voltage at power frequency. Now let us see what is the difference between power and testing transformer. Here we are generating the high voltage by means of testing transformer. Whereas in the power system we have seen the power transformer that may be step up transformer at the power station or its step down transformer at the substation. So, first difference is with respect to the rating. Power transformers have high voltage and high current rating. Therefore, its power rating that is KVA rating or MBA rating is high. Whereas, testing transformers generate high voltage at low current. Therefore, their KVA rating is low. Second is application. The power transformers are required in power system at switch yard that is after generating stations, they are required to step up the voltage whereas at distribution level that is at substation, they are required to step down and supply the power to the customers. Whereas testing transformers are required to test the electrical equipments, therefore they require high voltage at low current. Now let us see what are the methods for generating high AC voltage at power frequency. Number one is using single testing transformer. Number two, using cascaded transformers. And number three, using resonance transformer. So let us start with the first one that is using single testing transformer. So circuit is simple. It is a step down, step up transformer. This is low voltage winding. It can be at 220 volts or it can be at 440 volts. That is line to line voltage. Here we are getting high voltage. And between this high voltage terminal and this is ground terminal, we are keeping the test specimen. So this is the 
equivalent circuit or let us say it is the circuit for high voltage testing transformer now this is the actual single testing transformer this is transformer it is generating high voltage this is the high voltage terminal now as it is generating high voltage it should be kept away from the operating personal therefore we require separate control panel for operating this testing transformer so this testing transformer is inside the cage of the high voltage diode whereas this control panel is outside the cage of the high voltage lab here the operating personal is there so there are different knobs that is for starting then for high voltage on then for stopping and then for increasing the voltage and decreasing the voltage it can be manual operation or it can be motorized operation then there, there we require the voltage for measurement of this generated high voltage as well as we require the current which is flowing through the test specimen so this is the actual single testing transformer now let us see the salient features of the single testing transformer number one they are used when test voltage requirement are less than about 350 kV so their their application that is application of single testing transformer is limited up to 350 kV now why it is not used after 350 kV what are the limitations or what are the drawbacks or what are the problems that I will explain afterwards. Number two, it is capable of giving the short circuit current for one minute or more depending on the design. For example, if it is 150 kV transformer having kV rating of 15, 15 kVA, then the rated short circuit current will be 100 mA. It means it will be capable of giving this short circuit current for one minute. Impedance of the transformer is generally less than 5%. Then what is the meaning of 5% impedance? 5% impedance means if we require 100% of the rated current. Again, I will take the same example. 150 kV transformer, 150 kV is the secondary voltage that is high voltage. And 15 kV is the rating. Then 100 mA is the rated current. So for getting this 100 mA rated current, during short circuit, we require just 5% of the voltage. So we require only 7.5 kV to get 100 mA. And this can flow up to 1 minute. And depending on the design, the time can increase. Number 4, in addition to the normal windings, the low and high voltage windings, a third winding known as metering winding is provided to measure the output voltage. Now many labs do not have separate measurement facility for measuring the high voltage therefore it is necessary to measure the generated voltage through this testing transformer so along with primary and secondary winding that is low and high voltage winding a third winding which is on the secondary side is there and across this a voltmeter is connected and that voltmeter is calibrated in terms of secondary voltage that is high voltage so that winding is called as tertiary winding or metering winding low voltage and high voltage windings are on the same core high voltage winding surrounds the low voltage winding this i will show by the diagram core is grounded core of this high voltage transformers testing transformer is grounded this also i will show with the help of diagram last is a dome type structure or large size metal cap metal rings are provided to prevent the corona this i also i will explain with the help of diagram now let us see the low voltage winding and high voltage winding it is mentioned that low volt high voltage winding surrounds the low voltage winding so this is core this is low voltage winding and this is high voltage winding so here you can see this high voltage winding is surrounding the low voltage winding and this primary winding that is low voltage winding high voltage winding as well as this core they are grounded now this is the dome type structure and this is a corona ring, a ring. This type of shapes are used to avoid the corona because high voltage is generated. So possibility of corona is always there. So in order to avoid corona, either this dome type structure is used or a corona ring is provided. Here is high voltage terminal and this is the high voltage terminal. Here for this transformer, this single testing transformer, dome type structure is provided and for this 
single testing transformer corona ring is provided now this is the inside structure of the single testing transformer this is iron core this is iron core so please remember here i am taking the inside structure of i am explaining the inside structure of this type of transformer so this is the metallic structure this is the bushing and this is high voltage terminal so inside this the structure is like this this is the core this is the tank this one so this is iron core iron core this is primary or low voltage winding this one this is primary or low voltage winding this is surrounding the core then secondary or high voltage winding this is secondary or high voltage winding here also you can see that high voltage winding is surrounding the low voltage winding then there is field grading shield this is field grading shield otherwise the electric field distribution may not remain uniform this is grounded metal tank this is metal tank this is grounded this is shown here also then this is high voltage bushing this one through which the high voltage terminal is taken out this is insulated shell that is insulated body or insulated tank and this is high voltage terminal so this is the inside structure of this transformer now let us see what are the drawbacks or limitations of single unit that is single testing transformer number 1 for high voltage requirements a single unit construction becomes difficult and costly due to insulation problems now as we go on increasing the voltage level we require higher and more insulation therefore the cost of the insulation becomes more and second is due to large size because if it is very high voltage then due to high insulation the size become large and due to large size transportation and installation become difficult now let us see what are the precautions we have to take while testing the object by single test transformer or in general for ac voltage testing high ac voltage testing the transformer should withstand the transients during the flash over of the test object now see whatever object we are testing for the high voltage that is basically capacitive in nature whereas the transformer winding is inductive in nature so there is inductive capacitive circuit so whenever flash over takes place due to this inductive and capacitive circuit high voltage transients high frequency transients appear during the flash over so the winding that is transformer must be capable of withstanding these high voltage high frequency transients next is the steady state voltage distribution should be uniform that is electric field distribution within the winding should be uniform third is while testing the objects requiring large charging current care must be taken about its current rating now see when we are testing the object which are highly capacitive in nature like capacitor bank or cable they require large charging current so we have to take care that the charging current required by this test object should not exceed the rated current of the transformer otherwise the transformer will get damaged so this is all about the single unit testing transformer friends if you feel this video lecture useful then please like it ask your friends colleagues and your juniors to subscribe to my channel for upcoming video lectures on high voltage engineering and power system protection if you want to make efficient and effective use of time then read my book on time management the title of the book is a concise book on time management the link for the book is also given in the description box this is also the link you can see the link in the description box also friends i have launched a useful course for the student on udemy the title of the course is boost your learning and become top achiever it is a course to boost your brain power and program the mind for success this course is with 30 day money back guarantee and full lifetime access this is the link for the book Uh, this is the link for the course it is also given in the description box this course is specifically useful for the students who are preparing for 
एंट्रेंस एंड कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स थैंक यू